Here I am back at the guest shuttle. It's another early morning, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to today. It should be a really nice day. Jordan has the day off, thankfully, because yesterday was a very long day for him. It was a very long week for both of us, lots of long hours. But this week, Joy said it should slow down, so we're both very much looking forward to it. I am 10 minutes to run in and get some breakfast, but it'll be worth it. I ate breakfast in like three minutes, so now it's time to get on blue. I have today off, Monday, and tomorrow off. Kiara's tomorrow on Wednesday. It gives us more time to spend with Kenai and gives us a day off together too, which is nice. And we're just out here enjoying our tent. Let's see if I can get Kenai in the bedroom. There he is. He's sitting in his chair, not on his bed. He likes to sit in that chair. It's raining a little bit, but the tent kind of keeps us secure. It's kind of nice to just sit out here and relax. Here, Kenai and I are waiting for mom to bring the air porter done. She'll be done here. Well, about five or six minutes and we want to go surprise her and so we're all waiting here watching for mom we're gonna go get joy and her mule there's her mule there's kenai we're gonna go get her we're gonna go get her so we didn't get to surprise mom i saw joy drive by first and so i took him out there to go say hi to joy and heather and then he got too cold so i had to bring him inside and blow dry him but he's waiting now mom she's post tripping the air porter and she'll be here shortly so it is Memorial Day. So we are up here at a Veterans Memorial in Denali State Park, built in 1982, almost halfway between Anchorage and Fairbanks. And it's to honor the veterans of Alaska. And we're here to honor our brother-in-law, Michael, who passed away in Iraq. So we're here for him. It's a really beautiful place. He passed away in 2009 in Iraq. Yeah. He was stationed up here in Fort Wainwright, Fairbanks. That's how I first really got interested in Alaska. Yeah, we're very grateful for his service. So here with the Alaska National Guard Monument, you can actually, on a clear day, which is not today, they're pointing at Denali. Yeah, right Denali there. is straight behind us. Yep. And so that's kind of a way that they, they did both. They put it here partly because Denali could be visible on a clear day from this location. Mm -hmm. well, hey, the background's going. nice with all the trees. It is really pretty. We're going to go eat dinner at the 2320 restaurant here on Properties. tradition to stop at Miller's and get ice cream. Kiera is down in Wasilla today. Day off, so she has the car. I'm not used to walking up and down the hill. I'm used to driving the car down and up. Oh well. Seems like every time I have to walk, she's gone. But I said lunch with 
joy at the 2320 and on up to see Kenai again. Kenai wants my sock. He's gonna take it from me. He wants my sock. He doesn't do this very often to me. He does it to Kier all the time. He's gonna try and take my sock. He wants it real bad. He's getting a bath and he's not happy about it. Huh, buddy? You know, he's being all cute with mom. Laying, laying it on thick, huh? Yeah, you're a cute boy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> that was good timing. We got pizza from the employee bar and it is really good pizza. Yum. Kenai's in a little tent right there. But I am gonna get this area cleaned up. We're gonna move this tent thing a little bit further back so Kenai can see out of the window from the RV. And Kenai insisted on being out here even though it's raining. I don't think he's happy with his decision. Brought him back inside. It's too cold, huh, bud? Yeah. Huh. Well, I'll come back and get you if it starts to clear up, okay? Okay. really started to pour down rain the last like few minutes I was out there but I just wanted to finish um yeah just soaking wet I think I'm just gonna relax the rest of the day all right I'm here at the Iditarod headquarters here in Wasilla I'm doing some retraining and the driver had never been here so we had to drive by anyway so we stopped just to show him what it's like really cool that Iditarod is run the first Saturday of May is the honorary run in Anchorage and the official start starts Sunday in Willow, just north of Wasilla. That's a pretty, pretty cool race. I'll probably talk about it more later on in a different video, but just here you can see the dogs. Um, they have some one-year-old, pretty young puppies. You can't really hold it too big now. And then also they have some sled dogs that you can ride for, I think it's like $10 a ride or something like that. Pretty cool place. We've had the last two days off and now I'm doing the late gas shuttle from 2.30 to 11. Got to spend the morning with Kenai, but it's so sad to leave him because he thinks he thought I was going to be home with him today. So that's sad. Well, I don't know what he thinks, <laughs> but uh, you could just tell that he was sad. Um, I don't know why. I'm just not looking forward to doing this tonight. It's always hard to go back to work after some days off. I have been on this loop for a grand total of one hour <laughs> and I'm not feeling it today. I don't know what it is. I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> much today which seems to be my mo trying to do better because i kira does such a great job putting together a video of really the same thing we're doing every week and uh, basically today i was the 7 a.m shuttle and then not too long after that going and taking people to the train to denali and then taking people from the train to denali here to the lodge and then i had to do some uh, driver retraining and just everything gets ahead of me. <laughs> I don't get as much done as I'd like. But doing better. I'm going to try and get more filming. Going up to Denali tomorrow. Kiera is going is doing a guest show tonight. So it's just Kenai and I hanging out. So she's done with that. Jordan is getting ready to go to work. <laughs> it's really rainy. Keep my other jacket dry. Yeah. He's going to wear it as he pre-trips so that he doesn't stay cold and wet all day. All right, so I'm going off to pre-trip, end up to Denali today. <laughs> Here are jokes that it looks like I'm going to climb a mountain. I've got my big backpack on. It's my overnight bag, just in, I always have it just in case. And then I'm going to go trek to the coaches, which is right there. And there's our RV, so very far walk. 
I just finished uh, pre-tripping to go up to Denali. Uh, it's pouring rain. Which is, it's alright. Uh, the guests tend to be a little down when it rains. So I think because of that, it, it kind of brings us down as well. We're, we see a lot of rain. We're just waiting to go up to Denali and we're just taking guests up and back. We'll see what the weather's like up there. I never know. It, it can change drastically between here and there, even though it's only a couple hours. It's a different location. It tends to be windier. Maybe a little colder up there, but not as much rain. We'll see. It's misty raining this morning, which is awesome. So fun. Gotta love it. Uh, anyway, just doing Talkeetna shuttles today. Jordan's going to Denali. Hopefully, it'll be a good day. It's cold out here. We are in Telkina and it is so cold. in Talkeetna. I went up to the lodge and now I'm back. So I'm not sure when I'll be headed back to the lodge yet, so I'm just gonna maybe take a nap. One of the many perks of the Talkeetna shuttle day. I can keep that at home. I'm so excited. So I'm sitting here in Denali, uh, drove up, there was snow all throughout Broad Pass. Don't see that very often this time of year. I don't think I've ever driven in June with snow, so that's kind of interesting. Really pretty though, just because it's all new, so not that the old ugly snow that you tend to get. I saw a moose and a couple of her calves when we were there walking across the road down by Veterans Memorial, which is kind of fun. Fun day so far, good day, good group. It's rainy and snowy and hoping it kind of changes on our way down. I didn't realize I'd already be this tired this early in the season. So I'm doing a seven o'clock backup. Hopefully I don't have to go, but my luck I will have to go. Nobody else ever does, but I probably will go. Look at us as twins. How cute. We're gonna go do the max together and then Jordan's gonna be gone for two days. Yep, going up to Denali and then Denali to Whittier the next day. We're running an anchorage and coming back up to the lodge. Not looking forward to it. Things seem to go south when Jordan's not here for some reason. And the calming forces. <laughs> In scenario. our universe, I think. <laughs> We are back at the Mex and it is still my favorite day. The guests are always so happy to go to the ship and it's just an exciting day. The train's coming back in and it'll be fun. It's like about 10 minutes of madness, but I really like it. Oh, hey everyone. Just got down at the Mex. 
here and I went to the max train to the ship now in Talkeetna at the train depot here waiting to go pick up my guests in about 15 minutes to go pick them up from K2 Aviation in Talkeetna take them all the way up to Denali uh, up to the McKinley Chalet resort up there right next to Denali Princess and I'll be overnighting there in Denali well in Healy just north of Denali when I'm there, then I'm going to head down to Whittier the next day, overnight in Anchorage, and come up to MPL. So it'll be a few night overnight stay, just kind of waiting to get that started and then be on my way. I'm overnighting up here in Healy, and they painted the Death Star. Well, they put new siding on it, which I had remembered they were going to do, but I forgot. Walking up, I was like, they painted it or did something to it. I mean, the inside still looks the same. But... Hmm. <laughs> I bet. Hey, cutie. <laughs> so, on my pre-trip. It's another day. So we're gonna check the oil and everything. Get that all taken care of. Kuna did pretty good today. We'll see how he does later today. Rain's really getting to me. Kind of getting tired of the rain. Let's get this done. sitting here on the bottom step of my stairs. See, there's my seat. But the reason is the sun finally came out and it feels amazing. It's amazing just how different everything just looks and feels. My mood immediately changes. I am so affected by the weather. So I'm just so glad to see blue skies and sunshine. I'm preacher been up here in Denali. I got the J-Mob of the day. So we will be overnight here in Anchorage. It was a good day, beautiful drive back from uh, Whittier. Well, hey, I'm here at the Inlet Towers. 
in Anchorage overnighting. Just got back from Whittier not too long ago. Like I said, I'm enjoying it. Spend the night here. I'm going on early tomorrow, kind of early, and then going to help with the rail here in Anchorage, and then head up to McKinley and be done for the day. Actually, so it'll be kind of fun. Just to head up and be done. Fun little time here in Anchorage here at the Inlet Temple.